Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how to build your own microcontroller to send data between vehicles using the new composite node on the connectors. As always we'll go over the new components needed along with how to wire them up and finally we'll go ahead and test them out in this video. So with that all set let's get started. Now before we get started guys as always I just want to have a chat and tell you obviously everything we do in these tutorials is just going to be for the sole purpose of education and entertainment for you guys. Uh, there might be a better way of doing it or it might be an easier way of doing it out there however everything that I try and show you guys is, is pretty much so that you guys can learn uh, and then go ahead and actually build it in your own creations replicate what what you pretty much learned from these tutorials so with that out of the way uh, let's get straight into it first off you can see we're back here in the workshop I've just gone ahead and built a simple train base uh, two wheels both empowered by small electric uh, engines along with that we have a throttle that's going to control those engines we also have another throttle to control the brakes and then we have two just on switches just to just to show you that they will work when we actually go ahead and build our um our logical microprocessors to send data from this train off to the coach or the carriage of this train that we're also going to be building up so we can go ahead into our microcontroller editor now the first thing is obviously we need to add our nodes onto this logic piece now the nodes that we're going to need obviously we'll need a composite output that's going to be able to send the data from this logic all the way over to the connector and then obviously receive it in another connector and then back into some logic uh, we'll get into that second carriage part of logic just now uh, the start off obviously as i said we'll need the first one which is going to be simple composite that's going to be a output so we'll go ahead and place that down along with that is we'll need our two number of inputs and then we'll also need our two on off inputs so i'm just going to make a little extra more space there i'm going to go over to our logic uh, and then we can add in four of those so we'll go ahead and grab them place them down and then what we can do is we can go ahead and change these to number number and then we can name it one two and then one and two on those also it's just so we know which one is going to which at the end of the day fantastic once we've done that we can then go into the actual logic of this now you can see here we can go ahead and just drag our different inputs those are then come from the controls themselves and eventually they're going to go into this data output which is going to send it through now to do the first off what we need to do is grab our let's see our right number so we can go ahead and place that one there grab another right number and then we need two right on off signals so let's grab another one of those and then pretty much all you want to do is you pretty much just want to go ahead and just connect all these data inputs so they're just flowing right through them back into there and then what we're doing is connecting our numbers our on offs and then what we're doing is we're saying okay that signal is going in it's going to go into that one and it's going to write on channel one it's going to go in here it's going to write on channel two it's going to go in here and it's going to write on channel three and then it's going to go in here and it's going to write on channel four so the moments coming here is one two three and four and that's pretty much it nothing else to do here uh pretty simple we can go ahead and save that as our transmitter fantastic place that down we can then go back into our actual creation grab our actual transmitter block so there's that one over there go ahead and place it down wherever we want and then what we're going to be doing is just connecting over here you can see I have the throttle so we'll connect that to one we have the throttle for the brakes we'll connect that to two and then we have on one which is going to go to the input one and then on two which is going to input two so you can see those things are going through there they are then going to go come out of there and get connected to our composite send fantastic we can go ahead and save this now so this is going to be our masterpiece and then we're going to go load onto our save piece what we can do then is go back into the microcontroller editor we can make a new microcontroller this is going to be the logic that's going to receive so once again just make it a little bit bigger in size go over to our logic themselves we will need first off is going to be a composite input to obviously receive the data we will then need our four actual nodes two for the numbers two for the um, on offs so we can keep those two there keep these as numbers and then you want those as outputs so we're going to change all of these to outputs now and then once again we're just going to rename them simply to one and two and then we can go ahead back into our actual logic here and we can just drag these 
So if we scroll in, you can see one, two, one, and two. Input there, and then what you want to do is you'll read and uh, for on and off and numbers. So we'll go ahead and grab that, grab another one of those, and then we'll need two for the on off. So these are going to transfer the data from the composite into something we can read, which is the on off and number values. So once again, just go ahead, connect these up. Pretty simple. Go collect on them. So one, I remember one was one. This was two, so we change this to two change this one to three and change this one to four fantastic and then we just have to go ahead and connect these up pretty easy pretty self-explanatory done that we can go ahead and save it once again i'm going to go ahead and hit the receiver fantastic close that off go back into our build and we'll grab the other mic controller which is our receiver place that down and then we can go ahead and connect see it's receiving from here going into there and then what we can do is we can grab some, let's grab some number inputs. Let's go digital display. So we can actually see if it is receiving the number and then we'll also put some lights on there and that will know if our on off signals are working or not. So get that down. Now for power, the reason why I like to use the electrical connectors is the power will actually come through from the other train and get connected to all of these components. So we don't have to put batteries on all these power is just coming through from the other connector and going through into all the other connections we can then go ahead go to our data we can say okay input one i mean output input one is going to output one getting connected to these and then we're going to connect these off to the on off switches you could obviously connect to the brakes and obviously to the electrical throttles if you wanted to but for the purpose of this video i'm just going to show you it is actually transferring the data across that's the main thing go ahead and save this to our slave go ahead spawn in that double check everything is there fantastic we can then go and load our master go and jump onto that up the ladder we'll take the brakes off and also move this a little bit forward so we can spawn in our other train put the brakes on kill the engine throttle fantastic and then we can go spawn the second piece in the arm spawn that in and we can go jump back into our first piece reverse this up and get that connected over to our other carriage slowly go there get it connected and we should be connected now let's just go forward there we go we're connected that's attached and then we can go ahead and let's hit the brakes on so we've got a one on there, we've got a zero one there, and let's see if we can hit our on two. Ah, oh, you can see the signal's gone through. Let's hit our on one. The signal's gone through there. Let's go check those numbers. Uh, 0 0.8 and one. Ah, see, we had to go change this. Let's change that to 0 0.3. And you can see here, it's not getting transferred there. So that's pretty much about it, guys. Uh, a very quick tutorial, nice and easy. Um, you can obviously get more complex into this and adding more and more systems to it as you want. Uh, you can obviously do a multiple data system set uh, that can send and receive between different coaches from the front or the back. Uh, I've done one of them. Uh, they're in one of my new trains that I might be showing you guys uh, later on in a video. Uh, however, it is on the workshop at the moment. But yeah, this is pretty much just a simple system. So I think we'll go ahead and end today's video there, guys. As always, comment below what you'd like to see any future videos. Why there? Don't forget that like and subscribe button for any of my upcoming content. And and finally, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it enjoyable and somewhat informative as always, and we'll see you in the next one.